Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use Topaz Labs plugins with Earthenview. Uh, some people call, call it IR Fanview. Actually, the proper pronunciation is Earthenview. So, as you can see right now, I'm running nothing on uh, Windows XP. And launch your favorite browser. Uh, in my case, it's going to be Windows Internet Explorer. And on the address tab, just type in IR Fanview. Uh, dot com, obviously. And so now, when Earthen View opens up, you'll notice that there is a link over here that says download the current version. So first, go ahead and download Earthen View. It's going to take you to another page and where you click on the down, Download Now button. And there'll be a little message that will appeal probably where you can select Download File. And uh, the file will come in. Um, and you can see it's a pretty small download. It's only about 1.28 megabytes. Click on Run. So it's already in. Um, I click on the Run button, and I would like to have it, you know, stay with the defaults that it has here. Um, I click Next, and it's telling me a little bit about this version. I click Next again, and then actually the file formats that are associated with it is fine the way that it is right now. I'm going to click Next again, and it's asking me if I want to install Google Toolbar or Google Desktop. Actually, I don't need those, so I'm going to check those off. Click Next and uh, the default folder is perfectly fine. I click Next and it's already done. It says actually installation successful. So you can see it's a very small program that installs very very fast. Now at this time actually we don't want to uh, start Earthen View. So I can, I'm going to turn that off and click on the Done button. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll notice that your web browser is going to go to the Frequently Asked Questions section. Um, now, we don't want to be there right now, so I'll switch back over to the earthenview.com, as you can see right here. And there is another download that says Plugins and Add-ons. To be able to use Topaz Labs along with EarthenView, you do need these plugins. So when you click on that, then click on Download Now. Okay. Uh, once again, I click Run, and again, you'll notice it's a very, very quick download. Uh, this is 7 megabytes, uh, so it's coming across pretty quickly. Click Run, and it will automatically know where you have installed EarthenView, and just by clicking Next, immediately it's done where it says Installation Successful. Okay, so now we've installed both EarthenView and we've installed the plugins that are necessary to use it. Now let's go ahead and jump in to show you exactly how EarthenView works and how you're going to be using it with Topaz Labs. First, I need to find some kind of a picture. So under Documents, I'm going to go up to My Pictures and I'm interested in going into my Topaz Stills folder. I'll maximize this here for you. And uh, I'm, I want to be able to actually change this particular picture right here. Now, by default, you're noticing that this picture is really, really dark. And in a moment, we're going to notice the magic of Topaz Labs' Topaz Adjust and along with Topaz Denoise in being, being able to repair this photo. So the first thing you want to do is you notice how all I did was just double click on the image. So just in standard Windows, all you're doing is double clicking on it. And Earthen View by default has picked up the JPEG images, meaning just by double clicking on it, it immediately launches Earthen View. In fact, I could see over here that Earthen View is running. So the next thing that I want to do is under Image, pull down to Effects and pull down to Adobe 8BF filters. Now, what I love using is just a Control-K keyboard shortcut, and I will be doing that for some of the other things coming up later on. Now, all of my Topaz um, filters have already been installed. So what I'm going to do is actually take Topaz Adjust and remove it just so that you can follow along with exactly how you're going to be installing these filters. Here's all you have to do. Where it says here, Add 8BF filters, click on that. And it comes up with a browse uh, folder. Now let me go all the way up to the top over here. You can see exactly where I'm going to be starting from. So under My Computer, under your local disk, and then here under Program Files, when you open up Program Files, scroll down and find Topaz Labs, which is right here. Open that up. And you'll see that you're going to have whatever Topaz Labs uh, filters you have already installed. In this case, I have all of them. I'm going to use Topaz Adjust. So when I open that, just make sure you click on the Plugins uh, folder and then click OK. 
And now you'll notice that suddenly Topaz Adjust has been added to the list of the filters that are available. I do want to use it, so all I have to do is just double click on Topaz Adjust and immediately it will launch Topaz Adjust for us. And in the center of the screen is our very, very dark image. If I want to see exactly what that image is, uh, I'm going to take Adaptive Exposure and crank that up. Now in this case, I'll crank it up to about like 0.97 and I can see that the image is now a pizza, but I also notice that if I hit the OK button, button, there is all this noise that's introduced in the image. Well, it's a good thing we do have the world's most advanced noise reduction technology, and that's called Topaz Denoise. So now I'll go ahead and double click on Topaz Denoise. And so the Topaz Denoise interface will come up over here. Now this is the default settings of Topaz Denoise. Uh, I'm going to change just a few things. Where it says add grain, um, I'm going to reduce the add grain variable down to zero. And also, uh, where going back to main, I'm noticing that it's kind of like blurring the image. So let me take the amount of noise reduction down to about 0.9. And where it says blur reduction, blur reduction is a great way of reintroducing some sharpness back into your filtered results. So if you like what you see on the screen, you hit the OK button. And as you can see here from this progress bar down at the bottom, uh, Earthen View is telling you that the filter is processing. And now we are done. So here's our final image. Click on the exit button. If you'd like to see this image one to one on the screen, uh, under View, you can pull down to Original Size, which also has a keyboard shortcut of Control H. So now you're seeing the pixels one to one. So if you like this image, the only thing you got to do now is go under File. And I'm going to choose Save into the original folder. And I'll give it a different name. Let's say, for example, we call this Pizza. Um, how about Done? <laughs> and really, that's all there is to it. You know, So you have uh, created your image. You have modified it. We have brightened it. We got rid of the noise. And that was a short tutorial on how to use Earthen View along with Topaz Labs, starting from absolutely nothing on the screen. Now, um, so while I'm here right now, let me actually do one more example for you. Um, I want to show you a photo that I took when I was in Paris. I took this photo of the Eiffel Tower, and just like before, just in standard Windows, you double click on it, the image is going to open up in Earthen View. And this time, I'm going to use Control K, and Control K brings up our um, choice of Adobe filters. Double click on Topaz Adjust so that the Topaz Adjust interface comes up. And I'm going to click Reset All. One of the things that I love about Topaz Adjust, along with uh, many of the other filters that Topaz Labs has, is these presets that are along the left hand side. If I see a preset that I like, it's just a matter of simply clicking on it. So if I click on something, I'm going to zoom in 100% and take a look around here. Uh, I like what I see, or if I wanted to do something from scratch, I can click Reset All. I'm going to bring up Adaptive Exposure. Now, as I do this, look what's happening. Uh, in the original image, if we look at the original image, you've probably noticed that we have a very backlit version of the Eiffel Tower. Whereas now, using the Adaptive Exposure controls in Topaz, we're beginning to not only brighten the Eiffel Tower, but please notice all of this extra detail that's coming out of the clouds as well, which is really, really wonderful. Um, I'm actually pretty OK with how bright things look right now. I can uh, go under the Details tab and give it a little smudgen of extra details. But along the way, you've probably noticed if I zoom in that we have picked up some noise. Well, it is a good thing that Topaz Denoise is built into Topaz Adjust. So uh, I'm going to take the suppression variable here and bring that up just a tad, just like maybe about here. So I can now watch all the noise disappear. And I'll hit the OK button. And again, Topaz will uh, process the image. I can see the, the indicator bar over here, the progress bar, as it's working its magic. And ta-da, we're done. There's our final image. Uh, and I'm going to, just like before, save that out, because I don't want to lose it. <laughs> so go up to the top here, save into the original folder. And we'll call this um, Finished Tower. And click Save. There we go. So that was the uh, short tutorial of Topaz Adjust, working with Earthen View. I hope you've enjoyed it, and stay tuned for some more tips and tutorials and demos from Topaz Labs. Thank you very much.